Hey guys, this is Pat here from Rank Country. God is good all the time. My life is like a bowl of china closet. Now you guys have been watching my channel know that. That's why Mr. Ray has to fix a lot of stuff. <laughs> that woman can break an animal. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, Heidi's great. Just, uh, just a little joke there. But anyway, uh, we lost our baffles in our dryer. This is a uh, Maytag Neptune uh, model number, which can be found right just inside the door. It's model number MDE5500AYW. And again, this is the Maytag Neptune. And here's what the baffles look like. There are two different types of baffles. There's, there's tall baffles, and then there are short baffles. And this baffle is part number, never mind the ER, it's uh, 33002032. And I got this particularly in a pack of three. This particular unit or package also comes with the fastener. Now these fasteners are inch and an eighth long and one inch from the bottom of the head to the tip and this particular package came with all the hardware to mount to fasten all those. We lost these baffles one at a time. Um, we lost one and I thought okay no big deal well, we can run it with two and the second one went ahead and self-destructed and so uh, it's time to go ahead and replace all three of them after all three of them bit the dust. We like to we like to run everything right down to the uh, nitty gritty around here before we fix it. Um, some things there's preventative maintenance on, some things we're just saying, well, you know what, we'll just wait till the other two go bad and then we can just replace them all at once. But at any rate, uh, I'll show you what we have to, to accomplish here. First thing we have to do is you have to remove the door. So you have to remove this screw, this screw, and then the door screw and then this door screw and the door you can actually just let it, it the door can just hang here as you're taking the screws out of here because there's two little hooks on the hinge that hold the door to the inside frame piece here the other thing is uh, just in case you guys didn't know this most of your Maytag washers and dryers front loaders have reversible doors on them so I could take the hinges off of this side and put them on that side just FYI um, a guy can take and remove these remove these and put the door hinges on this side of the door this side of the door and then change this over. This is the catch for the door that keeps it closed. And there's also a catch on this side. So the doors can be reversed, just in case you guys didn't know that. So we'll go ahead and remove these with the number two Phillips. And again, the door just hangs there. Just lift it up. Pull it back. Now you can see the, the little sl slits here that go into this back piece here. And the bottom part of this hinge has a little slot underneath there that actually sits into the, uh, the part that it actually adheres to. This one has a slit on the top in case you reverse the hinge for the other side. Now we take you over to the other side of the dryer and just remove these screws. And the front panel just snaps out of place. Okay, you see this little this little tab right here? That slips into these little holes right here, these little slits right here and it just snaps into place and holds it. I ended up bending mine just a little bit so I had to bend it back into place. You see these can bend back so far 
that uh, you can't get this into that slot and just snap into place. So sometimes you bend these things, you can straighten them back out with a pair of needle nose. Now on the bottom, the that front panel basically snaps into these right here. So this will actually protrude into that the bottom of that front piece and just it kind of snaps and just kind of sets right in there. But again, you got to take that front part off. You got to lean that front part back this way and then lift up the unit to get that front panel off of there. Now what we need to do is remove that bracket, this bracket right here, and that is held in place by this 1 5 16 head screw. So when you remove the screw, you twist to the right on this one and the left on the other. As you can see that there's a little keeper or a hook that actually holds down the lid on the, uh, the dryer. So you just take that, set it aside, and do the same to the other side. Now the top just lifts straight up. Now most people could probably just replace these right there where you have them installed. I like the idea of being able to open this up. This is hinged on the back as you can see and I have uh, the ability to go ahead and clean back behind the dryer and clean all the cats and everything out from underneath here. You get a lot of dust build up in here and it could cause a fire so I just unplug the unit and set everything set everything aside, clean under and around and behind this thing and put it back in service. Now I have full access to the top of this drum. You can just roll this by hand and of course you have two places to attach the uh, the baffle on the front and the back of the drum itself. And now is also a good time to check the belt. See if the belt is uh, in good shape, if it's cracked or um, stretched out to the point where you think you need to change it out, um, now's the time to do it. We dry our clothes on the clothesline mostly. Um, this dryer does have a lot of use, but uh, the belt still looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. Now you just line up the holes on, the, on each end. Okay, so you're going to notice that these baffles, they have a contour to them. That just matches the inside of the drum. That's so it doesn't catch all your socks and underwear and tear them all to shreds. Um, that makes everybody happy. What we'll do is we'll put these in place. Middle hole's not used. You just simply rotate the rotate the drum. Now you're ready to reassemble.
Okay, we're good as new. All we need is a new paint job. <laughs> well guys, I hope that helped you out. I put a little bit of detail into this just in case, uh, you know, for all audiences. So, um, I hope you got something out of it anyway. If you had any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'll be glad to answer them. Uh, thanks for taking, taking the time to watch our videos. Take care and God bless.